All right, what are we going to do? All right. Mouth inflating is kind of done. Definitely. I don't do a lot of mouth inflating, especially of 260s. I can blow up the Qualitex 260s. Other manufacturers, not so much. Um, but with this whole COVID thing and viruses and keeping your hands out of your mouth and not touching your face. So. Right now, we're getting off the mouth inflation. So it's back to pumps. So we are going to be basically tied to our pumps. A couple different systems that I like. Um, a few different floor pumps that I like. Um, as far as hand pumps go. Those are all quick and easy and readily available. I have a kit where you can actually keep your Legenda in the bottom of your Zuka and have your nozzle and your button up on top. Or you can have two Legendas in your Zuka cart and have faster inflation on top. This is what I tend to use at like all my festivals, all my longer gigs. Anywhere where I'm going to be there for m more than two hours. So I'm going to go through kind of the setup, the way I do it. I do offer one part for sale, which makes the whole system a lot easier to make. And as far as shipping, I'm not going to be shipping out air compressors, big chunks of PVC and all that. I can, so it is an option. But for the most part, I'd rather just sell you that, which is the complicated part. And after that, you guys can put together the rest of it yourself. So these are about 100, 125 uh Basically, Amazon, other places have them as well. So it is the same. And it is the small one. I think it's, um, yeah, what do we have here? We have a model so PC 1010, whatever that is in binary. Um, it's a half horsepower and it's a one gallon tank. So, all right. So what we have here. So like I said, I sell you the cap. So with the cap, all you need to do is make basically a tower. So very, very simple. PVC. This is two inch. So it's two inch PVC, found out that to be good. Um, I put this in here for the hose to get the hose out. And then this is the base to hold it to steady. So what you're basically gonna do is this cap is gonna fit right on top there. And your hose is gonna go out there. And then you just stick it in there and you got a solid base. But a little bit more to it than that. All right. So the other thing you're gonna need, what I have here, is I have a Christmas tree stamp. So I actually ran out to Target before Twist and Shout a couple years ago, and these were on sale for $5. So I bought, I don't know, six of them or so, and made a base. So the thing I needed to do was basically have it hold the PVC. It was a little bit too big for the PVC I was using, so I actually got a little downsizing coupler, put that in there. I screwed these in there, so there's three of those around the bottom. That holds that piece in the middle. Then you take this. So actually, that piece down there is basically that. So that just sits in there like that. This will go on. And I had to cut a little piece to make it join together. So I did have to add that piece. If you can find them that connect, great. I couldn't do it at the time. So that's just going to connect onto there. So you got the pipe. So what you want to do is the piece that I have already has the male hose connector on it for an air compressor. So what you want to do is take the female end at that point and slide it up into the pipe. So it comes out the top. Got it. And then you can basically just clip these two together. And it's that easy. And push that back down. So now your hose is running out the bottom. This will then place right on top there. I did leave these screws on here, so actually you can. I never, once that's on there, I never take it off unless I'm traveling cross country to bring my twist and shout. And then if you screw these down, just like a Christmas tree, that'll hold this tower straight up and down. So one of the things I have done, this looks ugly. Granted, if you're doing a gig, and of course we're all dressed up, we, you know, we, I'm a clown, so I've got my clown costume on, my paint, everything. Beautiful setup with my cart, and then a PVC on a Christmas tree stand. No. So one of the things I have found is I found some plush animals. I found a log that I put over one. I found a long neck dinosaur, which covered this nicely. Um, a clown sock, just a striped clown sock covers this whole thing and it just covers and it just looks nice. And then I just took some fabric and just laid it down here. So from there, you're going to have basically the tower, your air compressor nozzle. That's going to plug right into your air compressor. That's it. It's done. Now with this, and this is awesome, you have a helium tank nozzle. You have really, really good control. This is like one of the best things for 260s. As far as I'm concerned, as far as pumps go, I would rather use this than anything else. But that's it, that's my tower system. So it's basically air compressor, some things from Home Depot or DIY or, DIY is closed, Lowe's. 
So one of those or Ace or a local hardware store preferably, but, but you can find all this. This might be a little difficult out of season, but thrift stores might have them because thrift stores always have weird stuff out of season. So you might be able to find that at a thrift store. If not, Christmas time, pick one up, wait till after Christmas when they're on sale. But that's my tower system and it is great. I use this all the time. All right, guys. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.